Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Century Gollum Edition, An Endless World, coming from designer Emerson Matsuchi and publisher Plan B Games. Two to four players between 30 to 45 minutes. This is the third in the Century series of games. This is the Gollum Edition. And so Century Spice Road was the first game that came out in this kind of line of games, and there were eventually three games in the Century Spice Road kind of universe. And then they came out with these Gollum editions. The first one was originally going to just be a limited edition, and we we're only going to have the Gollum edition of the first one. And it got so popular that eventually they made Gollum editions for all three of the Century games, and this is for the third in the series, An Endless World. Activate locations with your trader. Collect or trade valuable crystals, score points, and get Gollum abilities. So these games are exactly the same, regardless of the theme, whether it's the Spice Road or the Gollum. It's just a matter of what theme and art style you may uh, prefer, which one appeals to you more, but they are the same games. All right. And so this one has more of a worker placement type of feel. So here's our overview sheet. The different locations you can send your, your workers to and some lovely art on the back, bonus tiles. Here's the game setup. Very simple games. These, uh, these games tend to have a very light rule set and they play relatively quickly. Here's a heroic journey, part one, part two, and part three. All right, let's take a look at the cardboard components. Here's some tiles for us here. All right, those are nice. We've got double sided. Now, these are kind of card stock. Very colorful, vibrant artwork, as you can see here. All right. Here's our player boards where you can keep your resources and keep tiles that you've gained throughout the game. This is the A side of the board, the B side of the board for the different player colors. All right. We've got our cards, which are these oversized tarot style cards. Very lovely artwork on those. Good quality cards. Very nice quality cards. But again, just really, really beautiful artwork. That's probably... I go back and forth as to whether I like one theme or another. I know that that's kind of an outlier. I think a lot of people tend to say they like the Gollum theme better. I don't have any problem with the theme and art of the Spice Road edition. I think that also has beautiful art, but this is looking really, really nice on this particular version. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this art right now. And we've also got our little wooden meeples here in the different player colors, the little workers you're going to put out to the spots to trigger different actions and abilities. And then we have our lovely gems. Oh, there's something so satisfying about these crystals. Look at that. Beautiful translucent blue crystals. Those look great. Oops, and I'm dropping them as well, but that's okay because they're big enough, they're easy to find. So there you go. You've got all of those in the four different player colors. Really, really nice looking art. The component quality is solid. I wanted to say rock solid because it's a Gollum game, but you notice I didn't do that. I didn't fall into the easy trap. I did not say it's rock solid. You see, that would have been a really bad pun, but this is 
Century Gollum Edition, An Endless World. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.